Well, Cancelo moved to Arsenal, hits up, it's hot, and we are going to reveal here we have gotten this story from because Cancelo has been silent a little bit because Arsenal was so much into um, Kai Havertz, Declan Rice, and uh, this other guy called Julian Timber. And uh, we are going to really contemplate onto what our minds are really sending down to us on what these deals are all about. So Master like button close to 1,000 not 1,400 times and then let's see this channel really grow up to see that we hit 20,000 subscribers before the end of this month and we are going to hit it I believe and what makes us different in the spiritual realm is our faith and my faith is high that we are going to hit this mark so guys Marquinhos, Asnos Marquinhos not that of PSG jumping about Asnos Marquinhos the 19 year old is back into the news and we're going to bring you exactly what Arsenal really contemplating or pondering about him. And lastly, there comes a story coming in from um, coming in from William Saliban Rest Nelson. Let us contract update as far as it's concerned. Now, Rokan David is my name. You can as well call me already onto this beautiful YouTube channel that you guys have gonna hate. To really make a reason all over the world because you're being watched all over the world because of you guys and your contribution to us is really immensely appreciated right now let's start off with Yao Cancelo a story coming in from Kika Bundesliga they're telling us that Arsenal are now hot for Cancelo player is on top list of Arsenal Henriks and Boy are also seen as alternatives. Cancelo wishes to go to Spain, but no concrete offers. That is it. So, this story is coming in from Bundesliga. And why is Bundesliga building to us <coughs> to this Cancelo transfer? It's all about Cancelo playing there for the last six months of the previously concluded season at Bayern Munich. And that's why he's being talked about as a player into this mix. Now, Arsenal going in for Julian Timber cooled down the interest of Cancelo in as far as the Arsenal fans are really concerned. But today, I was doing a live video onto this channel and Arsenal fan came out and told me, Rokani, what's up with Cancelo, Yao? I said, <coughs> he was like reading my mind. He read my mind like a book because after that live, my plan was to come out through obviously obvious throw into this Cancelo story. And here it comes in peace to you guys, all the viewers of Rokani Media Football, that Yao Cancelo <coughs> is back into the market of Arsenal. <coughs> in any ordinary man's thinking, it would go down the memory lane, or his memory lane, that when Arsenal went in for Julian Timber, maybe the interest of Yao Cancelo dropped. It never dropped. It never dropped because Ateta doesn't doesn't want to leave any loose ends as far as his vie for the title is concerned because he did it last season and he found himself trying to fix everything in january and he couldn't that is it that's why he went in for mokalo modric deal never went in through moise casido deal never went in through and that really never acted well for the side of Arsenal. So, this time around, he doesn't want to really have any loose end because it's said that you have to learn from your mistakes and it's only a fool who does the same things again and again expecting different results. If at all you do the same things again and again, you should expect the same results like you went ahead to achieve when you really did <coughs> those things previously. Now, when you look at Yao Cancelo, <coughs> Arsenal needs him. Why? Even if you bring in Julian Timber, he's going to find himself in a position of being a right-sided centre-back. Imagine yourself in a situation, or imagine Arsenal in a situation, having Saliba injured and Tomiyasu injured. You know? That means you'll be left with Ben White and um, Julian Timber to share those two roles meaning that on the bench you won't be having any right-sided center back so to make it clinical and clean for Arsenal they need to get in your Cancelo to be prepared to be prepared when Tomiyasu gets an injury because none of you knows 
whether Tomiyasu is going to return back and obviously get back to the level he's supposed to be on and not get injured again because by the time he got an injury when they're playing against um, Sporting Lisbon at Emirates he had just returned from injury so no allowance is going to be given to him and for William Saliba that back injury let no one lie to you that it ever heals what heals it it's resting and are three months enough for Saliba to have rested so that's a big questions and the other most important bit of it is the left back position of Arsenal that is it Arsenal looks like they're not so much interested into left backs although they are being linked to Inacio Jakub Kivu can play as a left back um Kientien looks like he's going to be sold by Arsenal um Tomiyasu can match the levels of that side but there is one thing you need to understand about this guy known as um Yao Cancelo. He can play as the left back and he's obviously that inverted right back that Mikel Arteta wants. He brings in a lot of experience. He has won it all. He has played in the Champions League. Arsenal playing the Champions League for the very first time since seven years or since 2016. That will call in for the experience of Yao Cancelo and I think that's why he's the only option left to get in at Arsenal and Arsenal look at it as a deal that they can really get done anytime as they have no team that is obviously going ahead to stop them to really land this deal as Fabrizio Romano told us months back that Barcelona one of those teams that are really looking forward to sign Cancelo and Cancelo would have to go ahead and really play at Barcelona and not really doing well financially and they cannot finance this deal Sure about that and he told us that Yao Cancelo will leave Man City this summer decision very clear on both player and club side looking for the best solution one more reason for City to try extending Walker's deal Barcelona remain most interested club in Yao Cancelo depending on the financial fair play and it shows you that they've gone ahead to really focus on other players as far as Barcelona is concerned and I can even show you a story right now that Barcelona have gone ahead to really decide that Jules Conde is going to be is going to be their right back meaning that they are really pulling out of the Cancelo deal and the only team that is really interested in Cancelo is going to be Arsenal for a team like Man City they hate that because when they loaned him to Bayern Munich Barcelona was interested in this player and Man City knew that if we loan him to Barcelona, Barcelona are known into good books of accounts to come in and obviously offer us the money that we want in the January transfer window, sorry, in the summer transfer window. That's why they sell, that's why they sent him to Bayern Munich, anticipating that maybe he's going to be having a very good season down at Bayern Munich and Bayern will come in and obviously cash in. That's why they put out a non mandatory clause of 70 million euros if at all they are willing to retain the player and Bayern have said we can't offer that amount of money even if you want less we are not going to sign him because we're having Pavar and Mazurui so as it stands Barcelona are also out of this deal and that means Arsenal is the only team left to come out and dazzle it out for the deal for the transfer of Yao Cancelo and as I told you Arsenal have already gone ahead to talk to the agents of Yao Cancelo and they are positive that they will go ahead and obviously get this over the line. And this is the story I was telling you about coming in from one of the credible sources known as Cadena S.E.R. that Jules Conde will be Barcelona's right back next season. Xavi has convinced him. Remember, he had a problem of playing at right back because by the time he'd, he snubbed Chelsea to come in at Barcelona, Xavi told him, as ever convincing him, that I'm going to make you the best ball playing centre back. He came in at Barcelona to vie for the centre back position on the right side. But shockingly, he was being played as a right back. And by the time Arojo was being played as the right back, and things really swifted and he is really one of those that was complaining but obviously Xavi has gone ahead to convince him that he's turning out to be the right back of Barcelona next season 
So that leaves Yao Cancelo with only one option, that is Arsenal, and Arsenal are taking their time. I think most other transfers are going to be speed up or speeded up by Arsenal after uh, the deal of Declan Rice and uh, uh, the deal of Declan Rice and uh, Julian Timber really come to an end. When they come to an end, then we'll see whether Arsenal has still gaining interest in Cancelo but at the start of the summer transfer window the interest was genuine and it was confirmed by Fabrizio Roman. Let's talk about Marquinhos coming in from Sao Paulo to Arsenal and he's really one of those players that was really exciting and he was loaned at Norwich. We've been told by Sky Sports News that Arsenal are discussing the next best step for winger Marquinhos another loan move away or even a permanent deal has not been ruled out but i don't see Arsenal really selling this young man because <clears throat> he has huge potential but uh, he came in at a time when Arsenal were transiting into the next level what shows you that he has huge potential in his first competitive game for Arsenal he scored and created an assist they're playing against FC Zurich in the UEFA Europa League and he continued to do that so I've seen him really thrive and obviously fight for his position, but he couldn't break through to the first team of Arsenal. But they just need to get a right loan for the player. That is it. I think in the Premier League, there are teams that can really take him on. And I think Arsenal would have gone ahead to really loan him to Wolves. Because by the time Arsenal went ahead to sign this player, Wolverhampton Wanderers wanted to sign him. So I don't see the reason as why McQuinos is being really put in the championship. Like at Norwich, where he never really went ahead to play very many games. I understand he thrived a little bit, but he deserves a champ, a Premier League, a Premier League loan. I think teams like Burnley can take him. Teams like um, Luton Town can take him. You know, and he can thrive over there. To, to show it that his potential really maximizes, and the moment he maximizes his potential, Arsenal will find a very good player in him to come in and compete with. Bukayo Saka, or if or not, Arsenal can sell him out and get some good amount of money for him. But I think he has huge potential, but they need to find a very good loan deal. I never really fancied his loan deal to Norwich. It never made sense on my side. But I think very, very soon things will normalize and they're going to get him a loan deal. But I don't see him being sold permanently. That is it because I think Edu and Ateta really look at him as one of those players that can thrive. Still young, 19 years of age, so he still has a lot to offer to the club of Arsenal. So we wait and see how things are going to pan out. He was into the Brazilian national team that played in the Under-20 World Cup, and they got knocked out, I think, at the quarterfinals. But he really had a very good spell down there in Argentina. So that's it for Marquinhos. So we anticipate lots of things to happen about him next week he might be one of those players that Arsenal are planning to move on lastly it's all about talk sport confirming to us that William Saliba and Rest Nelson's contract extensions at Arsenal are set to be announced this week so this is really huge because as we speak right now Rest Nelson is a free agent and he can turn heel at Arsenal anytime from now and most Arsenal fans really love him. I have my friend known as Patrick. He has always gone ahead and really told me the needful about how he loves this player, Res Nelson. But uh, looks like he's going to sign a new contract at Arsenal. And this week, he's returning. They returned, by the way, today. They've gone ahead to train for the very first time with Mikel Ateta. I think that's the last video that is going to halt our day as we bring to you the videos, sorry, the, the photos of how these players represented at the training ground of Arsenal today. So, <clears throat> William Saliba is another one who has gone ahead <clears throat> to earn himself a contract of £200,000 a week and he had to really tell them that you can't offer me £140,000 a week. I'm really beyond that. And they've gone ahead to offer him a contract of 200,000 pounds a week. And I think he's really going to disturb them a lot as he believes he's one of the most important players at Arsenal and he deserves to be paid highly and handsomely at the club of Arsenal. And I think he does because if you give Bukayo Saka 290,000 pounds a week, 
that means Saliba should be into that range. So guys, your thoughts on to Cancelo transfer to Arsenal hits up. I welcome in the comment section below. Do you think the coming of Julian Timber will block Arsenal to continue showing interest in Yao Cancelo? Yes or no? And what do you make about Marquinhos? Where would you like him to be loaned or to be sold according to you? And lastly, Saliba, Press Nelson, contract announcement this week. How excited are you ahead of that announcement? I sign out for now. See you later. Those going to bed, good night. Those still awake, stay around. We are still bringing you with more news and information. I'm out.